Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be providing solutions to so many Matplotlib questions. I'll start off by showing you how to save a figure both as a PNG and a PDF, and I'll also show you how you can increase the resolution of your Matplotlib figures. And last but certainly not least, I'll show you how to fix a figure that is cutting off on the bottom. So let's dive in. To begin coding, I'll start off by importing the PyPlot module as well as the NumPy library, and then I'm just creating some random data so that I can plot these using a matplotlib scatterplot. When I'm ready to save this figure, all I need to do is add in one more line of code. I reference the PyPlot module as well as this saveFig function, and I just give this figure a name. Here I'm calling it randomscatter.png. So it may look like nothing happened, but matplotlib did indeed save this figure. And by default, matplotlib is going to save this figure to our current working directory. So if I use this bash command and list out all of the files in my directory, we do indeed see that random scatter PNG. If I'd like to specify that the file be saved somewhere else, I can just provide the file path. So let's say I want to put this on my desktop and still call it random scatter. I just need to provide that full path and now this figure has been saved on my desktop. Matplotlib offers you four different file types that you can save your figure as. PNG, which is the default, PDF, SVG, and PS, which is a postscript file. Let's see how you can use matplotlib to save one of these other file types. Saving this figure as a different file type is super simple. All I need to do is specify the file type I'd like to create at the end of my file name. So let's say I wanted to create a PDF, I just write randomscatter.pdf. A file type that I personally love is the SVG because I can scale up my graphics and not worry about pixelation. So to create an SVG, again, super simple, random scatter .svg. Listing out the files in my current directory, indeed we see I've used matplotlib to create a PDF, a PNG, and an SVG. So if you are using matplotlib to create PNGs, you might think about increasing the resolution of your figures. So to create a high resolution image, all we need to do is increase the dots per inch or DPI. The default is 100 dots per inch, but we can increase this to 200 to have a higher resolution figure. One thing to keep in mind though, these high resolution figures do take up more space on your computer. So here we can see my high resolution figure taking 40 kilobytes as opposed to my low resolution PNG, which is only eight kilobytes. So it may have happened to you before that you've saved a matplotlib figure, but some of the text is getting cut off of the bottom. Now this is pretty annoying, but fortunately enough, there's a simple way to fix this using the matplotlib code. Let's take a look. So let's say we're going to save this scatter plot, but we're going to also give it an X label, random data written in a pretty large font size, and I'm saving this. If I open this figure up, what I'm likely to see is that random data has been cut off of the bottom. So one quick fix for this is to actually add one additional argument in the save fig function, and this is bounding box inches. So we write B box inches and we set this to be tight. So matplotlib is going to slightly decrease our plot area to make sure that that text does fit into the area that it is saving. Opening this figure up, we see indeed that random data is printed out and is no longer cut off. So thanks so much for joining me. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or check out some of my past content about matplotlib. Bye.